rebelling, dreaming, having visions, saying things just the way they are, being awake. Well, consider yourself fortunate. You should be grateful. Your magazine hasn't been censored or banned yet. You should be, you grateful. Should be grateful. grateful. Why should I be grateful for what is doing mine? Who are these people who decide what we can or can't say, what we can or can't do, what we can or can't print? Who and what gave them the right to choose on our behalf? I respect your right to refuse, but I demand equal respect for my right to produce it. <laughs> My favorite part of the play was really being able to experience all the different characters, um, their diversity, and how they all came together and just made it work. My favorite part was when the women were standing up to the man. Female opposition against men, injustice and cruelty and discrimination. She's just a sweet girl with a huge imagination and wild my favorite scene is when she fight with her father because it reminds me of my father's too. Can I just go this one time? No. But I want to go to the movies with my friends. Jumana, we already discussed this. No. I am not a child anymore. I said no. No, no, no. Everything is no. I want to go. I want to go. I want to go. On top of that, I went to an all-girls religious school for 14 years. This traditional upbringing wasn't the result of religious fanaticism, nor to an underestimation of me being a girl. It was rather a consequence of fear because I was a girl. My favorite part of Confessions of an Arab Woman is how the women needed to be strong to break away from their dad's approval. I'm a dad and I think all dads need to see this. They must see this because what you saw was the pain in the in the daughters uh, and the love they have for their dad not wanting to disappoint him but they needed to be who they are and men need to see that. Every dad needs to see this and ask their daughters Am I putting you through that? Am I keeping you from being yourself? It's something that you want to definitely take your daughters, um, dads, you want to take your daughters, sisters, um, this is something that, that an entire family can go to, to be able to see what is out there. It was informative, it was enlightening, it was an experience that truly um, expanded uh, my exposure to, and connected me with other women across the country so and across the world. So anything that does that, I would highly recommend and thought it was fabulous. I killed Shahrazad. I killed her in me. 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 not something that um, uh, springs out of you uh, at the spur of the moment. And it keeps evolving. It's not like who I am today after having seen this play is different from who I was before coming from Lebanon to Los Angeles. We gain things every day. Every day we have the chance to learn new stuff that make us better people. Well, I knew I wanted it to be more than one woman's story. I knew I wanted to cast different women from different like ethnicities because it can be anybody's story. It's a story about being authentic and just following your true self. It can be whether you're from Lebanon or anybody, any other place, it can be anyone's story.